the competition system we've got, we had 109 schools play at CCC events and uh, across the country last year. We now have every state covered uh, in the union, including Alaska and Hawaii. So everybody is competing across the country for that shot at the national championship. And everybody that I've talked to that really wants a job, certainly at the national championship, has at least one or two offers walking out of there if they don't have one coming out of the regional event. A lot of people pick up job offers from this sort of competition event. So uh, it is a lot of, it's great fun. Have a good time with it. It is a competition, but understand you're here to learn and you're here to have a good time. Hi, my name is Phil Carson. I play the role of CEO of Maestro Games, a company that is responsible for providing video games to consumers. So I'm a member of the red team and our job here at this competition is to attack the student teams um, and so we're doing that through client side attacks, through remote exploits, through default usernames and passwords and then once we're in we are establishing a foothold, we are uh, stealing credentials, stealing database, uh, changing the database so that uh, their company is now selling us all of our other products for zero dollars. I'm the coach of the Kansas State University team. Uh, I help the guys prepare for the, this competition. Unfortunately, this is a sport where coaches cannot really coach during the competition and it's a little frustrating that we cannot help them a little bit. Right now we are deleting unnecessary programs and we're installing all of our antivirus and our anti-spyware. I'm part of the white team uh, doing this uh, cyber defense competition and I'm here to help the uh, competition to monitor student status and progress, uh, making sure they're uh, following the rules and then turning in their results on time. So if we were to take what we have out here on the cloud and essentially suck it down to here, we'd have direct access on all those machines and it's a little bit easier to do network security hey, on machines which are local as opposed to ones, ones which are in the cloud. Okay, just as a reminder that all user level password changes need to be submitted to the white team in electronic format. So any changes that we make, we need to submit. We're trying to set it. Have you changed the administrator password? Have you changed the administrator password? We all sort of have services that we're in charge of and I think we're all just trying to do that right now. Um, we all have a specialty OS's that we are mostly trained in. Um, we're pretty much just trying to get everything, all the injects ready to go. Well, we have a list of the users, but I guess we should still check if yeah. there are any extras. Uh, users? No, so just go right. to add C users. Slash uh, Etsy slash Yeah, or just, yeah, like, or, uh, cat Etsy password. password. Cat Etsy password. password. Yeah. Yeah. This is the network operations data center knock for the competition. We over here, we have the Firewalls, routers, uh, virtual servers. We got the sand here, which holds all the uh, the virtual machines. And uh, this is where everything's coming into right now. Um, right now, I am trying to download antivirus software for both of these Macs. You know, just an extra layer of protection. So I can uh, test the mystery shopper account. All right. I'll do it from this terminal. I could log out of here. I just had some last minute problems because I couldn't get in. But I think I got it all worked out. Am I missing something here? Shipping. There we go. Yeah, looks looks good so far. Order complete. All right. Good job, Kevin. Good job. All right. Thank you. All right. So five minutes and pass. So we got. Yeah. It, it's nice to be successful. I think it's fun as the CEO of my company to levy unrealistic goals on the admin team defending my company. This is the last thing we have to do. Perform an immediate password audit on all user accounts on the Active Directory server, FTP, web server, database server. Period report showing what user accounts have weak passwords. Being a member of the red team means um, having the capability to launch exploits at any given time against any given machine and being able to obtain access 
or steal personal identifiable information from these uh, machines or networks. First day was just intense. We had no idea what we were getting ourselves into, and today it's slowed down and we're getting into the motion, and I think we're actually figuring things out and actually being able to protect ourselves a little bit instead of getting owned immediately like last yesterday. Stressed out, just like day one. But we have a plan, at least, I suppose. I think all of us, okay, I'm gonna include everyone here. Um, I think we're all a little bit stressed out, but now that we have a little bit of a break, we're gonna get there. There's malicious activity going on in the webpage. How did they do that? I don't know. That makes me nervous. They attacked us with a DDoS. Uh, what the hell? Um, we've had a web application attack. Uh, very recently right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it's 5-2. It's hosting the pressure. It looks like 5 <laughs> But why is just HTTPS up and not HTTP? Yeah, that's... Our uh, SQL database is dumped. Our SSH2 is down. They deleted every single user on the web front. Basically, we don't know what's happening. 